Do you want EVs to stay the heck out of performance sports cars? Well, if you do, you're just like Toyota. Toyota's Gazoo Racing Boss is steering clear of EVs. We won't see any EVs in the near future or maybe ever in their Gazoo Racing Division. And we're going to get into why today. We have other things to talk about as well. There's other topics that a car expert in Australia, they spoke to this guy, Tomoya Takahashi-san, and he is the president of Gazoo Racing. And they were able to get a lot of information about upcoming products in the Gazoo Racing lineup. Grab your snacks and drinks, buckle in, put your racing helmets on, and let's get into it. If you're new to the channel, my name's Kirk. I talk about industry auto news as well as I do car reviews. Check out my Corolla hybrid review that I just put up yesterday. Let's start with this article. This is all coming from Car Expert. They got so much juicy tidbits about the future of Toyota Gazoo Racing. The boss of Gazoo Racing, again, Takahashi-san, and this is actually uh, an interview that just went up with these five gentlemen. They are representing Mazda, Subaru, Nissan, Honda, and Toyota, all of their racing divisions. And they sat down with a presentation. I haven't had the time to, to look through this yet, but there's a big 24 hour race going on called the Kyocho 5. Now in other markets, there is actually some electrified GR models. Now they're not full-blown GR or even GRMN. They are GR Sport, which has not graced our shores here in North America. So these hybrids are the Corolla Cross Hybrid GR Sport and the CHR GR Sport. I think the Aqua as well, um, the tiny, it used to be called the Prius C here in America. That's one of my favorite GR Sports. I think it looks incredible. But Toyota has abstained from putting the GR badge at all on the BZ4X. Other than there was a concept, I think probably the Tokyo Auto Salon where they showed it. Even though full battery electrics, Toyota does not want to get into, unlike Hyundai, for example, and Ionic 5 and Ionic 6 N models, they're saying hybrid power is likely to make it into future hot Toyotas. But there are no plans for GR EV at this point in time, says Tomoya Takahashi. We want to use internal combustion engines as much as possible. We are investing in future engines. And he says there may be a time when engines are banned, but internal combustion engines aren't bad. The enemy is carbon. That's been Toyota's philosophy for a long time now. Now, just like Mazda and other companies, they are interested in using carbon neutral fuels. We are not sure about electrification and when it's happening globally, there are discussion that cars won't be all electric. Yes, we're figuring that out as the EV market has completely flatlined here in the United States. Nobody can see 10 years into the future. Our direction is a multi-pathway, not only EV. <laughs> I like this image here. This might be the last time we ever see a boxer engine ever in a GR vehicle. Obviously, this is taking from Subaru. Even Toyota and Subaru are there on the engine cover. This is perfect, right? Takahashi concluded that our target is not to make fast cars. It is to make fun cars. Mazda's got that figured out with the MX-5. It's not fast. Well, not that fast. It's quick enough, but it is the most fun car you can get for the money on the market. The GR Corolla that I drove down to Key West a few weeks ago, watch that uh, driving review. That was an absolutely cracking car. It's super, super fun. The GR86, I don't like it that much because the Miata just ticks more boxes for me, but I know for other people, it's a fun car. The Supra is a fun car especially in the manual. It's not as fast in the manual, it's still fast as heck. It's more enjoyable in the manual, but yeah, it's a great car. There's a difference between a fast car and a good car. We want to make better cars that it was Akio Toyota's when he was CEO to, to make ever better cars. That was kind of one of his slogans. Let's get into the next article. We love the GR Corolla. I just mentioned it. The automatic on the cards for road going rally car. Toyota announced in January the updated GR Yaris is getting this new eight speed direct automatic transmission or the DAT, leaving the GR Corolla the last manual only Gazoo racing product. Um, there is a six speed automatic in the Subaru BRZ and the GR86, of course. In Australia, over 50% of GR Supra and GR86 sales are the automatics. 
I would say in America, the, the, the take rate for automatics on the Supra is much higher than the manual. If there's customer demand, Takahashi said, they will put the automatic in the GR Corolla. Let me know down below, guys, if you would want the automatic, the eight, the new 8-speed that they developed for the GR Yaris and the whole GR lineup. Let me know if you would want it in the GR Corolla. The GR Corolla's manual, it's good. It's not the best manual I've driven. Um, I would still probably take the manual over the automatic, but if you live in a, if you're commuting with a lot of traffic, I would understand why you would want to get the automatic or if you're taking it to the track and you just want to not focus on rowing your own gears, let the automatic do it for you maybe. But yeah, it comes down to convenience. And there's also a lot of you guys that don't know how to drive a manual, don't care to drive a manual. So the automatic would allow you to get into the GR Corolla as well. So let me know down below if that's an option you would want and let me know why. Now I'm not going to get into this too much because this is Australian market sales, but now it'll be much easier to buy GR performance models instead of selling through a lottery system. They do that a lot in Japan too, but now it's first come first serve as demand has probably dropped off for these GR cars. And lastly, Toyota's performance division eyes hot SUV. Now we have a GR Sport Land Cruiser 300, not we, uh, our friends overseas have that option. We don't have the 300 series at all unless you get the Lexus LX and we kind of have a GR Sport of the LX and the F Sport. It's kind of a mess, but anyways, Toyota's GR racing division wants to have a hot SUV. Now, they showed the Land Cruiser here. Would it be an as, uh, like a full-blown SUV like this? I hope not. To me, it doesn't make a lot of sense. I hope it's a compact or subcompact crossover like the CHR, like the Yaris Cross. Um, you know, we just saw um, Akio Toyota and the LBX earlier this year that is customized with the 8-speed auto, mind you. Um, with the 1.6 turbo. That would be an amazing addition to the Lexus lineup worldwide, including the United States. But they also remind us that the CHR and Yaris Cross have GR Sport models alongside the 300 series. But this would not be a GR Sport. This would be a full-blown GR SUV. And he's saying some people can only use SUVs because they have a family or need space. So that almost rules out something super small like the CHR Maybe even uh, the Yaris Cross is ruled out at that point. So, I mean, if it's a global model, we could see a GR RAV4. That would be nuts to see a GR RAV4, but I think people would welcome it. What kind of, I mean, it would have to have a very powerful powertrain for a vehicle that big. I would probably puke in my mouth if they put the 2.4 turbo hybrid that we see on like the Grand Highlander. It's a good powertrain. It's a it's a torquey, powerful powertrain. It's just not a, it's not the most fun powertrain. And if Toyota wants to make ever fun cars, maybe come up, I don't know, a, a plug-in hybrid uh, powertrain for the, the RAV4 that gives it the, tr the true GR. It's hard to say. Let me know what you guys would want out of a full GR SUV or crossover. To expand a brand, maybe an SUV is needed. He also says a GR company only has limited resources so we need to prioritize. The RAV4 is a bestseller worldwide. So prioritizing that as a GR model would just bring more attention to the GR brand than ever before. Here in the United States, they just like to put TRD on everything that's an SUV or a truck. So it's hard to say. More than likely, it would be a, a GR Sport or a Corolla Cross, or uh, hopefully it'd be a Corolla Cross because we actually get that vehicle. That would be great. But um, yeah, I'm going to end it there guys. Exciting times for Toyota. If you do not want, uh, fully blown EVs in the Gazoo racing lineup. And if you do want that, just go to Hyundai. They make better EVs than, uh, Toyota right now anyways. And the Ionic 5N, um, I've heard is a great vehicle. It's a super heavy for a performance car. So at least it has a ton of power and torque to make up for it. And they have great software with that vehicle to increase the engagement and the fun factor. Toyota's just not on that level uh, with EVs yet. They are really good with old school performance. And uh, you could say Honda is too. Subaru, they're good with that, with the WRX. 
I feel like a Mazda and the Miata. So the, the Japanese automakers are doubling down on fun to drive performance cars as long as they can before they might not be able to, they might be e- elite or, or forbidden by the governments, even though demand might say different from the consumers. Anyways, I'll shut down there. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Make sure you subscribe for more updates on the industry and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.